day number eight of our less than 30 minute power yoga series. Today's flow, since we've been going through different body parts, and as I alluded to in the last video, we cannot just focus on one particular part. We usually are holistically covering all of the different parts of the body when we do yoga and when we go into a flow. So today's flow, although we're not particularly targeting one particular area, as you now know, I want to pinpoint to where a lot of the time we say, we can't really work this body part much. However, I will create this flow in a way that we will work on our buttocks, our buttons, throughout this whole flow. So this will be a power yoga series in which we do the whole body, but just kind of focus down here, where we want to work our buttocks. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And I'm going to time us. Let's start on all fours today. So this is a little bit of an introduction to how your buns will be working today. So we're going into donkey kicks by kicking our right up at a 90 degree angle. And we're going to go for one, two, three, four, five. And let's go knee to nose. One, two, three, four, five. And let's repeat, but go for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then five more knee to nose. on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Knee lifts. Three, four, and five. And then let's go for ten. Five more. Knee nose. Three, four, and let's raise that down. Now that you have discovered the muscles that you're working on, let's try to walk your hands if you're not already towards the top of the mat a little more. Straighten out your right leg to go back. Now we're going to go side to side over the left foot. So one, two, Tap a little bit. Three, four, five. So, guess what we're going to do? A little bit of a pulse. So, let's go back to the center and pulse. For ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Switching out. Now from here, once you're warmed up with your walk, 
We're going to lift one leg up at a time to a three-legged dog. So when you're a three-legged dog, you are actually working your buns. So lifting effect. Good. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Bring it down. This time, do a more active child's pose like we learned from the last couple videos. Bring yourself down. You're actively pushing yourself up at the same time. An active child's pose. Okay. From here, We'll be going back into downward facing dog. This time, you guessed it, squats. Down dog squats. So, feet are hip width apart, just like so. You need to bend your knee and stick out your butt to the end of the mat. For one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Wiggle side to side because we're going to go about ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And finally, 10. Okay, bring it on down. This one, we're going to go in truly restorative child's pose. You can put one ear down, and your arm back. So when you work your butt ups in the squats, you also are going very deep into the squat. Really stretching out all of your leg muscles as well. And also the knees. Knees are getting worked on also. Switch on the other side and halfway through. Breathe as you restore yourself. Good. Excellent. Rock yourself up. Rolling your shoulders back and down. Don't forget to work those shoulders. Good. And I won't forget our 40 push-ups to include in this less than 30 minute video. So with that as a reminder, let's go into our first 10, shall we? All right. Plank position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walking dog, shaking your head no. Shaking your head yes. Yes, we can. And just look in between your fingers, jumping through. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling, mountain pose. Here, take a moment to feel your heart beating. Take a moment to feel how you're breathing. Take this moment and be grounded. In fact, we can do so and still get a sweat out of this. Let's inhale. Arms up, right in front of you. You sit back like a chair. Hands to heart center. Let's do a little twist to your right. So left elbow to the right knee. Hello there. Inhaling into the nose. And exhaling out through the nose, prolonging the breath. Do three deep breaths on each side. And after you're done with 
next one, let's sway side to side. Feeling all those muscles that you're waking up <laughs> in your buttocks and in your hip. And using your feet and your hands too, if you need to. We're going to do a little bit of a clockwise turn here. Just a little bit of a pivot. Giving your head some blood flow in the meantime. Maybe three to four times. Then you're going to go to counterclockwise. Counter it. Good. Excellent. I hear my knees and ankles popping. Good. And let's roll on up one vertebrae at a time. Excellent. We face you here, down center. We're going to go to a little bit of a series, and you guessed it, it's swatting time. Okay, at the end of the mat, that's where you choose to stay in the right at the top of the mat. It doesn't matter because we're going to be moving back and forth. Basically, you can use your arm for balance, arms in prayers, your hands in prayers, and we're going to go down into a narrow squat first, like so. And always have your knee never go beyond your feet, um, your toes, I mean. So, narrow squat, and we go wide squat, and narrow squat, and wide. So however long your mat is, it's going to determine how far and how many that you would do to reach to the end. And then you're going to go back the other way. There you go. And I'm not counting. There is no need to count because you're going to feel it and you're going to know when to stop. So that was one round, right? So, why? There we go. Breathe through this. Do not hold your breath. Peace. Okay, you take a little break if you need to when you get to the end of your mat. Whichever end. beginning point. I uh, had two rounds of this so far. I'm going to go for one more. Down, 
you may do this, like you're flying.
are huffing and puffing, as so am I. <laughs> Don't you worry, we're all in it together. Let's bring one knee forward at a time. You can tell. Remember the pushing the knee forward. And then pushing your elbow against the knee, deepening on your squat. Oh, yes, I feel you. We check where we are in the time. Good. We're over 20 minutes in. Not quite to cool down time yet, but we'll get there shortly. Excellent. Whew. I feel this all the way in the thighs, all the way down. Okay. While we're down here, let's stay down here. And inhaling, as you exhale, roll on back one vertebrae at a time. I'm going to be working a buttock from a laying down position. So, making sure your neck is comfortable. If not, grab the block. I keep forgetting to remind you that you can feel free to grab a block. And use it for your neck. Certainly, right there. Okay. Let's inhale. Good. Into the bridge. Tighten the buttocks. You can feel it. You can certainly use your hand to shuffle it to make sure that's tight. Good. Holding it right there. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly coming on down. Nice job. Okay. I'm going to do it with one leg. The other one kicking up. Let's inhale. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it on down. Same thing on the other side. You gotta even everything out, right? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Nice job. Bring them in to your chest, growing side to side. Woohoo! Excellent. Feels nice on my back. Good. Really rock up and down. Good. I didn't forget, we got 10 last push ups to do. So, moving your block if you are using one out of the way so we can jump on back. The 10 last push-ups, then we'll go into restore and rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhaling up dog. Squeezing the butt up. It's like you've been prepping it. And exhaling downward facing dog. Next one. Excellent. Okay. Jumping on through. But this time, <sighs> using that block again if you need to. You roll it down for your restorative cool down time. Yeah, right on time. Bending your knees, you know, this way, side to side for your. Windshield wiper. Excellent. And one thing I did not um, get to do as much is incorporating some weights. Because if you really truly want to tighten your buns and work on your lower extremity, there's often time you can do 
with resistant bands or weights when we were doing the donkey kicks or some of the other kicking poses earlier that we could incorporate. Let's inhale the right knee in, circling it clockwise a couple times and then counterclockwise a couple more times. Bring it all the way to the other side. Popping it back a little bit. Good. Let's bring it on up. Switching. A couple times clockwise. Again. And counterclockwise. Again, if you choose to, but right now it's your rest and digest restorative pose. And I want to thank each of you for joining me again in this less than 30 minute flow of Power Yoga series.